What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 Mods Weekly. That uh, This series actually has never been weekly, it's been a week and then a couple weeks and then another week. And actually this week I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I, uh, you know, I was going to do a big episode now because we got the mod API and a lot of new releases have been coming out. But what kind of happened was I got through the weapons, all well, the weapon mods I wanted to show, and then kind of ran out of time, you know, times of the essence in college and blah blah blah. So whatever happens, it did not go so well. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is just having those weapon mods in this week. I figured better something than nothing. Hopefully this coming Sunday, it'll actually be on schedule. And hopefully these things will actually be coming out weekly because uh, the semester's wrapping up. I do have finals, but for the time being, I don't really have anything better to be doing. Well, I guess I probably do, but I'm going to do this instead. And hopefully we'll have a few more battle videos. Uh, I did just post one from the NCR, so hopefully you guys checked that out. And um, yeah, so let's get into the mods this week. Again, this series should be kind of ramping up now because the mod API, API is out and a lot more cool mods are going to be coming out. So definitely look forward to that. And uh, yeah, well, here we go. So the first mod I want to show you this week is the Murdering Chainsaw. So this is actually a pretty cool and fun mod and it kind of does what you'd expect. It adds a chainsaw to the game. Um, it's a really fun thing, and I do get my ass kicked a little bit by a gorilla, which I didn't realize how tough they were. But uh, yeah, it's it's pretty well balanced. The stats are pretty good compared to other weapons in the category. Um, basically, it just adds in a chainsaw. It does have some slight modification. You can make it like a flaming chainsaw and add different heads to it. But at the end of the day, it's a pretty simple mod, and I kind of like that. I mean, it's straight to the point, keeps it simple, and all that. I did dress up as a raider to try and get into character with my new brand new chainsaw, and uh, well, the, after the gorilla event, I had to be a little bit more defensive. But um, yeah, all around, really cool mod, definitely would recommend checking it out. Uh, it does actually use some of the, like, the finisher moves from melee weapons. So uh, that is pretty cool. If you're doing some finishers with it, you can see your character swimming around, swinging around with the chainsaw, which is always nice and fun. The hatchet is something so simple that I just really should, I, I think should have really just been in vanilla Fallout 4. I don't know why it wasn't, but it's a really cool thing. It has two versions. I think I only show one in the video. Yeah, I do. And uh, it has like a military version and a normal like farmer boy version. Uh, I do really like the farmer version primarily, but nonetheless, the military version is cool as well. It just adds like a little spike to the back. But again, the hatchet's a pretty simple weapon, but the model's really high quality and it's really just a nice addition. And uh, the sound is really satisfying, killing all the different, I, I kill a bunch of settlers, which I guess, you know, kind of fitting. But uh, yeah, I don't know, for a melee character, this thing is, it's not super fallouty, which I kind of like about it. I kind of feel like a, I don't know, like a little, a, a rogue farmer or something. And I, there's something oddly enjoyable about killing people like that. So definitely recommend for melee characters. Beyond that, it's kind of a fun weapon to just whip out if you have to finish somebody off with a melee or something like that. So Modern Weapons is not like any other weapon mod on this list because, well, as you may have guessed from the title, it is weapons, not a weapon. So Modern Weapons actually adds in eight different weapons. I think it's eight. It's either eight or six. But uh, yeah, basically it adds in eight different weapons that I'm not going to tell you. Because what the mod author does with this, which is both cool and kind of, I don't know, take your stance on it. I personally like it. But basically... He'll tell you all eight of the weapons, but there's tons of modifications for these things. You can make, you could really, really personalize these weapons, even to the point where you could add in underbarrel attachments that work. Unfortunately, right now you can't switch behind them. So if I have a 40 millimeter grenade launcher on my weapon, I could only fire 40 millimeter grenades. I cannot use the regular rifle part of it but still really cool addition and they look really freaking nice unfortunately while it's in your hand it does look a little glitchy but again he said this would be fixed in the future now with the creation kit out should be coming even sooner but nonetheless what this does is they will spawn on all kinds of different enemies mm -hmm. and since all these weapons are so highly customizable and just all around so cool the only way you'll get them is by finding them on people and then building them up yourself you can only they have specific 
scrap parts. So you have to scrap weapons from the modern weapon mods in order to craft parts for modern weapons, which I personally really like. Again, I think that's really cool. And for that reason, I only want to show you my one weapon. I picked uh, ACR and uh, I kind of customized it in my own little way after killing tons of raiders to get all the parts to do this. Granted, I spawned them in, so I guess it's not exactly the same as everyone else will be, but this is just a really cool mod to have in the game. It adds in a whole nother layer to weapon mods and weapon, weapon customization. The mod, the weapons are really well balanced they come with a pretty much all of them a flat damage so when you get it it'll do that obviously you could change the chambering to fire a different type of bullet which will change change the damage but at the end of the day like different suppressors and all that are only either a cosmetic or you know just help with sneaking and stuff but a really really cool mod and it has a lot of detail i don't want to spoil everything so i definitely recommend you check it out and even just play with it for a little while because uh, that but do fair warning it does make raiders a lot tougher um you, you'll see in the thumper part it they become really scary when they have these weapons because they are high damage but yeah really cool mod definitely check it out So, with modern weapons, which I previously talked about, I explained how it's cool to be able to kind of change the caliber of your weapon. So, in other words, well, I don't know if caliber is the right word, but you basically change the bullet it fires. Well, Rechambering Plus does this for vanilla Fallout, but with an asterisk to that. It doesn't allow you to change any weapon to any bullet type, so you can't have, you know, certain guns shooting certain bullets that don't make sense and that's why i really like this mod compared to many others because rechambering plus is very lore friendly so for example the pipe pistol being a very versatile and well-rounded thing there's lots of customizations up op customization options options you can change it kind of in tons of ways so there's a lot of different rounds to fire that's the one i chose to kind of demonstrate for this little video but um yeah it's, it's really lore friendly which is why i think this mod's really cool and only certain weapon types can be changed to certain things and I, as I was using it I kind of forgot I was using it. it just felt like part of the game very quickly and that's why I think this is a really good mod to have for this unfortunately it only works on vanilla well maybe not unfortunately but it does currently only impact vanilla weapons I think in the future they are trying to move towards some modded weapons but uh, definitely a really cool mod to have there if you uh, you know you still want to use a 10 millimeter pistol but you don't think 10 millimeter bullets are do enough damage well rechambering plus would be for you so the gladius this is basically your roman empire era sword and um it's basically just the sword the romans used i don't know how else to describe it it does come with a number of different like modifications the one i found particularly awesome is the shock serrated one so basically it'll shock enemies and it's also serrated which adds a bit to the damage stat that's really all that does but it was pretty funny using this against people it is another really high quality weapon similar to the hatchet it's just it's a really well polished melee weapon and the attachments are very fitting and all around it just looks really nice to use and i'm not big on melee weapons but i like i like having them when i need it i like having a nice one to use and this is a fun little sword to use and run around with if you somehow had a roman style character maybe you're trying to bring back caesar's legion from the previous game that would be an awesome little sidearm to have i'm sure that'll happen at some point so this will definitely come in handy then but for the time being it's just a really high quality sidearm well or maybe if you're a melee character your main weapon but just really cool weapon to have and it's really well polished compared to a lot of the other weapon mods out there, or a lot of the other melee weapons out there so for that reason i would recommend it so this thing has a really long name, but at the end of the day, it's an anti-tank gun. If you don't know what these were for, if you played like, I don't know, Rising Storm or any really World War II-ish games, you'll kind of get it. It's basically a big gun that fires a big bullet that was used in like World War II era type things to pierce tank armor and hopefully destroy a tank. So in Fallout, it kind of, well, there, there's no tanks. But it is a cool gun nonetheless. It has a lot of customization options, which makes this thing really cool. You kind of make it whatever you want, whether that be automatic, semi-automatic, super sniper scope, not so super sniper scope. There is a lot of things. Although because it is does have such high recoil and is such high damaging, I, obviously I would use this as something, whether it be a DMR or just a straight out sniper. But this thing does 
pack a seriously powerful punch if you could find the bullets for it. So it is really well balanced in that sense. Uh, later on, you'll see me actually, I do put on the full auto attachment, but yeah, it does a freaking lot of damage as you can see against those behemoths. I am taking them out relatively quickly and um, yeah, I don't know. So again, there are some crypto rounds, depleted uranium rounds, which I believe that's what I was using in this. And it's all around like a really kind of end all super powerful weapon that is only practical in certain situations but pretty fun to just kind of mess around with and have there as a uh, kind of like oh shit there's a big legendary enemy that i need something to do a lot of damage really quick so definitely recommend it for stuff like that or a sniper character in general So I actually had like 15 minutes of raw footage with the Thumper because I had so much freaking fun using this thing. So just to start it off, the Thumper is basically a grenade launcher. That's what you imagine it as. It fires a 40 millimeter round, but there are actually two versions, quote unquote, of this. There's a way to mod it and uh, you could basically get it to be a like buckshot type thing. So it'll shoot less damaging but multiple projectiles and it kind of almost looks like if a carpet bomb, if you uh, know what that looks like where, well, you'll see later on in the video, I do use that version, but it's it's really cool, the two versions, I do really like that addition, but basically, again, the Thumper is just a grenade launcher, it's a single shot, you shoot once, then have to reload, and it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it's like a world, uh, Vietnam era type thing, that's at least the video games I've played that had it in it, were Vietnam era, but uh, yeah, all around, it's just a lot of fun, I, I don't know, it's just, it's really not the most practical thing, because shooting once, it really didn't kill many enemies in one shot but it did a nice amount of splash damage which was cool and maybe if as a sneak character if you want to shoot once and then do it and the kind of the grenade buckshot type thing didn't do much damage at all it barely killed anyone i had to use it a lot but it was still fun to use it in that way and uh, this was thing was more fun than anything else but uh, i guess on smaller amounts of enemies it'd be practical but in the large groups of strong enemies didn't do too much damage but uh still really fun and this will actually spawn on enemies which is kind of why i thought it was cool uh because i don't know it'll make the game quite a bit more difficult and quite a bit more interesting so that's actually it for this week guys, uh, I did say it'd just be a little bit shorter and only about weapons. I try to go more in depth on each of them though because, I don't know, I just try to mix it up a little. In the future, if you guys are still, you're wondering why I haven't been, uh, I've been kind of absent from the channel, I just had a lot going on with college and, uh, I don't know, just other stuff like that. Coming or moving forward though, I am going to be start doing more battle videos, which I'm pretty excited about. I kind of, as we get more and more mods coming out, I am trying to incorporate those into the videos rather than just using the vanilla creatures. So I want to do a little bit more themed ones. I know one I have coming up is Darth Vader and Stormtroopers versus whoever, whether it be the Brotherhood of Steel, that's who I think I'm going to do, or somebody like that, but I think that'll be a really fun and cool video. It's just these modded ones take a lot more effort and time to do because you have to equip each individual character themselves, so every individual stormtrooper, I have to give them the armor, give them the gun, and all that, so, but again, it's been a lot of fun doing these and uh, with the NCR one that I just did. So hopefully you'll see more of these and um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. A little channel update at the end of this. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I'm going to try really hard to get another one of these videos out on Sunday. So look forward to that. Hopefully it'll be a bit of a longer one, but we'll see. And uh, as always, I thank you guys for watching and hope to see you all next time. Later.